Hey everyone, good morning. It's Cynthia Ray here. It is Saturday morning and out here I am in North Idaho. I'm looking outside my office window. It's a little bit cloudy, but it's a beautiful morning and I'm excited to share something with you today that is near and dear to my heart. So I um, hope you guys are having a nice time at home these days. I know it's been a little bit crazy, but if you're like our family, you've kind of been settling in I feel like um, we had transition period of trying to understand life and how things are going to work with the way things are. But I feel like a lot of us are settling in and kind of getting used to this new lifestyle. So hope you guys are doing well and uh, staying healthy and everything. But what I wanted to share with you this morning was actually in my journal. Um, this morning, I really wanted to have, well, every morning, actually, I do a little bit of a heart to heart with myself and in prayer time and things. And this morning, I really wanted to dig in to my heart and mind and really understand why I do what I do and what am I, what I'm actually doing? What's my purpose about, of, um, helping people? Like why, why I'm actually doing what I'm doing. And for me, what I wanted to figure out, um, I've been in private practice. I'm, by the way, I'm Cynthia Ray. <laughs> I'm a registered dietitian and fitness specialist. Um, I have a founder of a business called Well Within, and I am, I have been um, in nutrition practice, private practice for about 20 years now, and have recently moved my practice to com be completely virtual on online uh, coaching and programming and things, um, helping people to break through their weight loss plateaus with dieting and um, exercise. And basically for people who have been dieting in the past over and over again, and just really have a struggle with uh, losing weight for good. So anyhow, with that, I have been really contemplating what it is that I need to be doing and how I need to be helping you all. So when I was in private practice, probably one of the most common things I would hear with a new client is, okay, so this is the situation. I have been doing my diet. I, whatever it happens to be, whether it's keto or counting macros or, um, what else is out there? Low carb diet. I've been doing my thing and I just can't lose weight anymore. I've been really successful at dieting in the past. I've, done diets over the years. And probably the first couple I've been on, I've been really successful. I lost the weight for pretty quickly, um, each time. And for some reason I'm doing it again now and actually change things up a little bit, but I'm st still struggling to lose the weight. And I'm so frustrated and tired of this runaround. I'm putting in the work and not only am I not losing weight, I'm actually at my highest weight right now. And it's been a real struggle to even get any of this weight to budge. So I have, I've been hearing <laughs> that so many times in my practice and frankly, I'm tired of it. I'm tired of not hearing that, but I'm tired of feeling so frustrated with the situation with our current diet programming that we have out there in the public. And I'm tired of people getting hurt and I'm tired of seeing people frustrated and angry and sad. And I've been there before too. I've, I've really struggled with food in the past. I've shared with you some of my story. I've, um, struggled with my identity. I've struggled with who I am without being fit and healthy. I've struggled with, um, wanting to be in control of my food. I've struggled with wanting to achieve um, self-acceptance and love from others by maintaining my body weight and looking a certain way so I can feel accepted by other people. And frankly, I'm tired of it. I'm tired of seeing people live that way. I'm tired of seeing people working really hard, losing the weight and then working really hard again and feeling frustrated and angry and sad. So what I decided to do is after seeing this for so many years, I decided to come up with a solution. Why is this happening? Why are we in this cultural conundrum really of 
being duped by the diet system, I guess you would say. <laughs> um, what can I do that they aren't doing that can actually help people lose weight and sustain it for a lifetime? So I've dug deep in my heart. This has been over the years, but I've recently come back to it. Actually, this morning I was journaling and really digging into my heart to see what's going on here. And what I found, I'm going to take a look at my journal here for a little bit. Um, what I realized was the thing, the one thing out of everything, anything that the diet industry and programs are missing is addressing mindset, addressing the heart of each person. Why are they doing what they're doing? And how is it that their mindset is keeping them stuck, right? So each person that would come to my practice, they did the work, they lost the weight, they followed the recipe of the weight loss plan, but now it's not working anymore. And why, why is it not working anymore? Why are they stuck, right? So I've come up with a few different reasons why and have helped people break through their weight loss plateau because of these reasons or solutions to the problem. So what I've realized is that number one, when it comes to traditional diet, tr tr traditional diets, that mindset is not addressed. The mind is not addressed. The thought patterns of the person are not addressed. The reason why the person even wants to lose weight outside of physical things, right? Outside of, you know, I want to look better. I want to lose weight because I feel terrible. <laughs> um, but why is it that they want to lose weight? Is it because they want to lose weight for the next upcoming event, maybe the next wedding that's coming up, maybe for their own wedding, maybe for a class reunion, or maybe because they took a look in the mirror at in the dressing room and were horrified by what they saw. <laughs> they weren't happy in the body that they saw. Or maybe um, they saw a photo of themselves and thought, oh my goodness. I had no idea that I was that heavy. I look at myself in the mirror all the time, or maybe even I avoid mirrors and just decide not to look at them because I don't want to see the reality. And somehow this photo took them by surprise, a recent photo and thought, oh my goodness, how did I get so heavy? Or do I really look that heavy? Am I, is that really the truth? Is what I'm seeing in the mirror, not my reality, but the photo is my reality. So, um, what I want to do is help people to foot, to find sustained wellness, sustained weight loss by looking into their heart, looking into the why, why is it that I want to lose weight? And the thing is, is that truly it needs to, it can be a physical thing. It can be where you want to lose weight because you want to look better and fit really well in your clothes and look really cute, which is totally fine. I'm all for that. I'm all for looking your best and being your best. However, there has to be a bigger why. Um, Cause I want longevity. I want to grow older and I want to be like those ladies I see walking down the beach or walking down the street in groups and chatting and having fun who were elderly. They may be in their sixties and seventies, maybe a little older and they're really fit and having fun and they're loving life. Or maybe you want, you don't want to be that grandparent or elderly person in a walker or wheelchair. You want to be that person that you see on a hiking trail going for morning hikes or morning jogs or bike rides or just living life well and enjoying their family, playing on the beach with their grandkids, um, traveling with their spouse and having energy to hike and to explore and to live. Um, maybe you have a health condition that um, is limiting you from living your life to the full. So what is it, the why, what is it that you want out of life that losing weight and being healthy would give you? right? So it has to be a deeper thing. It has to be, or I'm just so done with dieting. I'm so done with working so hard and not getting any results. And I absolutely have to find, I have no other choice, but to find another way, another solution to allow me to be fit and healthy 
and have a great lifestyle and feel great in wearing cute outfits or comfortable in the summer where I can actually wear shorts and maybe look great in a bathing suit and feel confident in my body and myself and not just um, hiding at those times of year, but actually feeling great. And like I said, I'm all for healthy and feeling great and looking awesome. That is no problem. But what I'm realizing is maybe we're just going about it the wrong way. Maybe we're looking at um, losing weight from a wrong perspective. So what is it that we need to understand and do differently than what we've been doing over these years, right? So people, you know, you've heard probably this definition before, maybe not, but when you do something over and over again and you expect a different result, that's insanity, right? So we can become insane or crazy when we diet over and over again, lose the weight and diet over and over again. Don't lose the weight, but keep trying, keep pushing up against that wall to try to break through into weight loss, but it's not happening anymore. Okay. So there's a few different reasons why it doesn't happen anymore. So one of them definitely could be hormonal, but it's not common. I know a lot of people will say, you know, my hormones are changing and that's true, but not always. But if that is the case, there are solutions to that. You can look at your, you can get your hormone profile tested um, with a great uh, holistic hormone physician. Um, I actually have a guide and a list of different um, hormones and how they affect your body weight and what you can do um, with exercise, uh, medicine, and natural remedies to break through weight loss because of those to balance in order to balance out your hormones. Um, and so you can balance out your hormones in order to break through into weight loss with some of these strategies that I have on my sheet. Um, if you're interested in that too, let me know in the comment section, I can um, send you a copy of that. But anyhow, um, so really, okay. So, uh, the reasons why you may have struggles with breaking into, um, weight loss is hormones, of course, hormone balance. Um, the other thing too, as far as the physical things go, it could be just that you're doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. But in fact, our bodies are dynamic. They're always changing and shifting and adapting at a for survival, which is pretty amazing. So you're going to see over time that when you do something over and over again, your body's going to adapt to it, not change anymore. So it's a must to do something different. You have to do something different. So that could be changing up your workouts. Um, that could be changing up your food, maybe eating a little bit differently, doing a cleanse, doing something to kind of shake things up, um, for that. Also, another factor could be stress, you know, stress really, uh, alters our hormones, right? And we hear about cortisol all the time and being the stress hormone that promotes weight gain. And it really does. So really looking at your stress levels and knowing what to do, um, whether it's changing your schedule, um, to make it sustainable for you, whether it's really understanding how to manage stress. I have a whole video that of, of how to naturally manage stress, um, for weight loss. It's on my YouTube channel. So take a look at that. It's uh, well within nutrition or well within ink, um, on YouTube, you can search me out there and find a lot of awesome videos on, um, wellness. But, um, so stress is also another factor and like I said before, the thing that diet programs traditionally are missing are addressing the mind and the heart and the soul. So diet programs really are great at addressing the physical. They do that really well. And this industry is a multi-million, if not billion dollar in industry by now, now, because it's a business. You have to understand it's a business and that's okay. They're doing their job. However, they want people to come back. They want to keep making money if they cure everybody from gaining weight or everybody that went on the program lost weight forever, they wouldn't have anybody coming back. When I was <laughs> working in hospitals, we called it our um, frequent flyers, our people coming back, right? So um, they want people to come back. They want, they don't, they're not banking on people succeeding 100% for life because if they did, they wouldn't make money anymore, right? So you really have to understand that they are purposely have taken out that component, or maybe they don't know, but I'm sure they do. They're really smart of addressing the mind, heart, and soul, right? We're a whole person. We're not just physical. We're way more than physical. We have heart, 
we have emotions, we have a mind, we have a soul, we have a spirit that, and we have life experiences that, and, and beliefs, beliefs, really beliefs and mindsets really are what we have to address when it comes to weight loss for sustained, sustainable weight loss. That has to be a part of a program in order to have sustained weight loss. If not, you're just going to be doing a traditional diet. That's just going to get you back in the diet cycle of being, unha being unhappy at the weight that you're at. And sometimes even being desperate and looking for absolutely whatever it is that you can get right away. So you can lose weight as soon as possible. And I totally get it. I've been there. I, I know what it feels like to feel frustrated, angry, and um, annoyed with your body. Not, not even that shamed, guilty, and angry with your body because of the way it looks. And then looking for whatever I can grab quickly to make the pain stop, right? So we're looking for ways to make the pain stop immediately, right? So if you're got to get a cut in your gushing blood, you're going to do whatever you can to make the bleeding stop, right? You're going to compress it. You're going to hold on to it. You're going to go to the doctor and have them fix you as soon as possible to make it stop, right? So when we feel, when we take, like I said before, like we take a look at the mirror, we catch a glimpse of ourselves walking by a window in a store or, or wherever we get a reflection. And I'm like, oh my gosh, why, how have I gotten so overweight? How have I gotten so fat? What's going on? Right. So we don't speak nicely to our bodies, right? We have shame and guilt and the things we say to ourselves, we could absolutely never say to a friend, but we go to whatever diet program we can find, whatever looks good on an infomercial. And there are some good things out there. I don't want to totally diss those, but there are things out there that prey on people who are desperate. And those things don't work ultimately, unless, which they rarely do, address the whole person, the mind, body, soul, thoughts, um, mindset, self-talk, um, beliefs that we have about ourselves. For example, I had a client come to me, actually a couple of different clients come to me and tell me, for example, that they, um, let me think of this story. So what happened was they had lost weight because they were doing this boot camp, like you know, those fit, those fitness boot camps, and they, they're all over the place. They kind of crop up over the have been cropping up over the years, and have lost the weight. They did the workout. They followed the recipe that they gave them to a T. Do the workouts. Do the nutrition. Get the get the reward from them, whether it's financial or some kind of a kickback. Um, and they got to. They were so excited because they felt great it worked. They were on top of their game. They felt really fit, um, super happy, super proud of their accomplishments and swore at that point in their life that they would never go back to their old ways again because it felt so good. They were done. They were done with their old eating habits. They were done with being overweight and having low energy and they just felt good. They felt proud of themselves. They felt good in their bodies. They felt attractive. They felt beautiful. They felt like everything that they have been searching for and working for is finally been achieved. Right. So, um, you may have experienced that before. I know I have too. It feels really good. Um, but like I've taught before in other videos is that our bodies are dynamic and they're always changing. Right. And it's impossible. It's like trying to catch the wind. Right. So you get the breeze blowing by and you go out and try to catch it and you grab it and then all of a sudden it's out of your hands, right? So our bodies, we once we achieve a certain body weight, it's impossible to keep that number or that particular body weight exactly like that forever. Unfortunately, our bodies take over, right? We can't control it. Our The size of our nose changes all throughout our lifetime if you didn't know that. <laughs> um, our skin is always rejuvenating and replenishing itself. When you sleep at night, we our bodies detox themselves and cells are dying off and in the morning we excrete them in your, our urine and feces and um they our bodies are replenishing and creating new new cells all the time our hair right is fall, falls out our hair color changes um but we and we grow new hair so our bodies are dynamic our teeth shift all the time too our nails are growing by nature our bodies are dynamic and always changing and once you get to a, a ideal whatever ideal is for you body weight 
you can't hold on to it forever, which is the truth and reality, right? You have to have a lifestyle or a diet plan that moves and shifts with your body, right? So trying to do something that's counterintuitive to your body's nature doesn't work, right? So um, for example, if you use this kind of a different example, but if you see like um, construction workers, right? They would do physical labor all day long, but you don't see them getting stronger and stronger and stronger forever, right? They're not these huge muscular people. Um, or even like maybe when they first start the job, they are they weren't as physical as they are now, and now they get really fit and lose weight and they're lean. But then over time, their body adapts to the job so that they don't um, die, <laughs> basically. And they don't have that sustained weight loss and um, look forever because your body adapts. It's, it's our nature. It's our human nature. You have to know that, right? So the thing is, though, when we lose weight and feel really great, and then when we gain it back over time, um, you, when you get to your peak weight, your body has created a new set point for itself, right? So our body's desire to, um, is to is to survive, right? <laughs> is to survive in our world. Our bodies haven't changed or adapted much for generations. So our bodies are always in, in survival mode. We always want to adapt to um, where we're at and stay at the body weight that we're at for survival. So whatever your highest body weight is outside of pregnancy and things like that, but whatever your highest body weight is, your body has created a new set point, right? Where it wants to be. So when you go to lose weight, you lose the weight, right? Maybe not all of it, but you lose a lot of it. And then when the diet's over, you gradually, you know, kind of allow yourself, you have some wiggle room. So you allow yourself to have a couple of the things um, in your diet, you reintroduce foods and back into your diet that you couldn't have when you're on your diet program. And gradually you gain the weight back. And the thing is, is that our bodies, what I've been learning um, in research and in different conferences I've attended recently about um, weight loss and, and uh, obesity, is that our bodies have an internal mechanism to want to get back to that highest body weight. So honestly, what I thought was very interesting was that our body's desire to get back to that highest body weight has been shown to be as desperate and equivalent as somebody who has dehydrated in the desert and is looking for water and needs water, right? So our body's desire to get back to your highest weight is imperative for survival for it, right? So in order to get around that, you absolutely have to have, for sustainable weight loss, you absolutely have to have community support and an absolute strong reason why. An absolute strong reason why that would get you past your body's desire to go back to its highest level of weight, right? So um, it has to be so strong that you'll do whatever you can and seek the support that you need to get there. So I'm going to share a little bit of a story with you about my personal why and how it got me through to sustained weight loss, not just sustained weight loss, but to a lifestyle of wellness. Um, so just to give you a little bit of a background on me. So when I was in uh, my early, my late, or I guess mid-teens to early 20s, I struggled with uh, an eating disorder. I was anorexic and bulimic and also addicted to exercise. And for me, it was, as I found out later on, it wasn't about, and it rarely is, it wasn't about the weight. It was about my heart. I had a heart need to be accepted, to feel loved unconditionally, and to feel in control. So those were my three things, to be loved unconditionally, to feel accepted by myself, to feel worthy and valued, and to feel in control. So I did, I did whatever it would take to feel those things. So to feel accepted, I lost weight. I thought maybe if I lost weight and looked really good, people would look up to me. Um, I wanted to be in control, so I controlled my food. I um, wanted to, be, to accept myself 
and accepting myself meant being accepted by others and valued. Um, but as I learned later on, I had to fulfill those heart needs with therapy, right? With counseling, with understanding why my beliefs were about food, weren't actually about food. It was about my heart and I needed to change my belief system about how to achieve control, how to achieve love and how to achieve self-worth and value for myself. Right? So, um, when I went into treatment in my early twenties, I was in college and I went to a treatment center, um, for one year, which was absolutely life transforming and changing for me. Um, I learned all of these things. I learned these things of, I learned about how to help people to learn sustained weight loss. Right. And what it actually needs to occur to us to achieve sustained like sustained weight loss so through my recovery it was challenging of course um i wanted to be there but i didn't want to be there and i kind of fought the program and fought the system and would go to the all the program uh, workshops and one-on-one -on -one counseling sessions but realized um i wasn't ready but i wanted to be ready it's it's common but it's tough um i wanted to do it um but there was a certain breaking point for me and that had to be i had to find my why my real why in the program at the beginning i just wanted to stop the pain <laughs> um and that worked initially but i'm not I, but i needed to get to the next level and break out of this um eating disordered mindset into um self-care mode so i have been an athlete since i was young doing soccer and softball and all kinds of sports and been a com competitive mindset since I can remember. And when I was in college, my sister and I, we went to a local triathlon. I went to um, Cal Poly in San Luis Obispo, so if you guys are familiar with that area. Um, so we went to a local triathlon um, during my, I think my junior year, maybe my sophomore year in college. And they were looking for college students to volunteer on the course to help out the um, you know, the athletes and everything. So we volunteered that particular year and had a great time. We had a lot of fun making memories and um, sleeping in my car actually overnight <laughs> at the campground. And I've, like I said, I've been an athlete for my life and I really love watching other athletes, especially female professional athletes achieve really big things. So I was excited because that particular year, uh, one of my favorite athletes, Paula Newby Frazier, this amazing triathlete, um, was going to be competing at that race that year. And I couldn't wait to see her cross the finish line. This particular race actually happened to be a qualifier for the Ironman a triathlon. If you guys have heard of that before, it's this really awesome thing. And as elite athletes do, and this is an Ironman qualifier. So she was there to qualify for the up and coming, um, Ironman season. So my sister and I were there and we went to the finish line because we knew that she was going to be coming through and I wanted to see her finish. Um, the cool thing about her too, is that not only was she better than all the women, <laughs> but she was actually better than a lot of the men. She would uh, finish in like the top, I don't know, maybe 10, maybe less than that. It's been a while, but um, of the male competitors. And so I just wanted to see this amazing woman do her thing in person. So we stood at the finish line and we were, you know, kept looking back and we didn't see her coming in. And finally we heard the announcer calling her, you know, she's like a mile out from coming in from her run. <clears throat> and, um, so as we're looking kind of like down, like down the finish line, there was kind of like a curve. So we couldn't really see much, but all of a sudden we see her running down the curve through the finish line or down the, the chute into the finish line. Everyone was cheering and um, you can hear the bells clanking and clapping, getting excited as they're calling Paula Newby Frazier into the finish line. And I just, with awe and amazement, just watched her glide through like she had just started her jog, <laughs> although she just completed this huge race, um, sprinting to the finish line. And everyone was so excited for her and she qualified for the Ironman that year. And I hadn't followed her after that. But for me, that was absolutely life changing. I knew at that moment in my heart that the only way I could ever be the athlete that I wanted to be like her is to get my stuff together. <laughs> I needed to stop purging through vomiting and exercise and diuretics, but I needed to get my life together and stop that and caring for myself 
like an athlete. I needed to put on a mind of an athlete, change my belief system and understand my why. And right there in that moment, I decided that I was done. I was done with my eating disorder. I was done with the eating disorder. It no longer belonged to me. It was something I had done in the past, but now I, I needed to be the athlete that I absolutely strived to be. Um, not only that, but I realized too, that if I was going to keep up living the way that I was living, that I couldn't have a family, I couldn't have children because my reproductive system was struggling, right? Because I was so stressed. My body was so stressed. Um, I hadn't had a period for several years. Um, and I just knew that I needed to change something. So my why was in my heart. And that why is what got me into recovery mode in my mindset. And actually it was funny when I went to go, um, when I went back home, I called my counselor, my therapist, and I told her I'm done. I've found my why. And when I went to go meet with her, um, she actually wasn't available that day. So I met with the director of the program who actually was a therapist too. And I told her my why I told her everything. I just told you what I decided to do. And she just looked at me and told me, that actually that why isn't something that's sustainable and i was like what like what are wh why are you discounting my heart right now i thought you're my therapist you need to be cheering me on and giving me encouragement about this i was actually shocked that she told me that it, what i was telling her wasn't going to work and she said it wasn't going to work because it was too short term it was that i wanted to do a race the next year and cross the finish line and show that my recovery was real but she said that having that was too short term. And what was I going to do after I crossed the finish line the next year? And at, to me, that at that moment didn't matter. And because she had said that, actually put a little bit of fire under my belt. And I knew that because she said that, I was going to prove her wrong. And I was going to show her that this is for real, that my recovery is for real, and I'm done. I'm moving on to the lifestyle of wellness that they've been teaching me. And I'm going to dig deep and I'm going to do the work that they're going to have me do no matter what it takes. Right. So that is an example of a strong why. Not that I wanted to lose weight to look good. Not that I was tired of the way my body looked. Not that um, I wanted people to appreciate and love me and respect me because of how I looked, but because I, what I needed for me, what I needed to do for me, what, what was it? What was the life that I wanted for me? So in my program, I have in my program, in my private practice, I teach people and even on my online programming, I teach people how to create a why, how to find your why for long term weight loss, um, what you need to break through. So here are the things you need to break through. You need to change your mindset, check your belief system and change it so that it can serve you, not bring you down. You need to um, look at a why, develop a strong why. <clears throat> um, you need to spend some time um, in your heart and journaling and really understanding why it is you wanna do what you wanna do. You also need to understand, um, once you have that down, you need to understand general nutrition. <laughs> you need to know what it is to eat again, what foods you eat, you need to eat that are balanced and healthy and life giving and life sustaining. Um, <clears throat> you need to learn how to exercise and fall in love with it again. Um, you need to learn what you need to do and what it takes to fall in love with exercise again and fall in love with your body again. Um, you need to learn um, how to meal plan. You need to learn how to set goals and what it actually takes to set goals and, and how to set smart goals, not just um, short term goals, but actually smart goals that keep you going for the long run. And you need to understand how hormones can affect your weight loss or breaking through into your into your weight loss goals. So I figure out <laughs> essentially what needs to happen. We're not going to count in this, in my programs, you don't count calories. We actually go to intuitive and mindful eating. You look into your body for direction and guidance with diets. We lose that. We lose the ability to actually trust our bodies. We actually are taught to distrust our bodies because it's, um, failed us in the past. 
And speaking of failure, a lot of times my clients will say, oh man, I failed that diet. I failed it. But truthfully, truthfully, you don't fail the diet. The diet program fails you because it's not offering exactly what you need. So um, the diet program doesn't fail you. Actually, you don't fail the diet. The diet program actually fails you because it's not offering you exactly what you need. So um, where was I going? (laughs) So um, yeah, so we need to really make sure to address all of the areas of your life. um, And then also how you eat. Oh, intuitive and mindful eating. You need to um, know how to trust your body. And that's something I teach you how to get back to basics, how to eat mindfully, how to eat intuitively according to your body needs how to take out foods from your diet that don't serve you well, that maybe contribute to weight gain because maybe they, they don't go well with the hormones that you're trying to balance. Um, just going with your own body's flow and it's completely individual because all of us have different needs, right? If you went on the exact same diet as your, your friend, your girlfriend went on or your husband or whoever, and they lost a ton of weight, but you didn't lose any weight. Um, it's because it's, it wasn't the right thing for you you have to know your body. And that's something that I teach. I teach you how to understand your body and exactly what you need and how to navigate through that. Um, You won't ever really have to restrict any food or any calories. You're going to listen to your body, basically eating when you're hungry, stopping when you're satisfied and learning how to navigate through emotional or non-hunger eating. I take you through all of those steps. So through all of that is exactly what I have taught all of my clients in my private practice over the past 20 years and have gotten them results. And over the past year, I have taken time off um, of my private practice and wanted to give this all to everyone in the community. I want to give you all um, beyond the people that are in my community, my tight knit community in Southern California, where I used to live. Um, But I want to share this with the world. And the only way I realize I can share this with the world is to create it as an online program, as something that you can do um, with my coaching. And in a we have actually also includes a private Facebook group. So I'm going to be in the group with others who are also doing the program um, and coaching you through and also providing live one on one coaching calls um, a couple times a month in the group to answer your questions as best as I can, because I really want to keep that one on one counseling spirit alive so that I can coach you through Um, the other part that it's going to include is. um, Well, first of all, it's a 10 module program. Um, It's going to include all of the things I talked about. We're going to address mindset, developing your why, intuitive and mindful eating, um, how to create, um, uh, what's it called, a grocery list, how to meal plan, um, how to create smart goals, how to fall in love with fitness again, um, how to balance your hormones for weight loss. There's so many things in there that are exactly what you need from my life experience and also um, for my private practice that I've given my clients in the past. And um, so you're gonna get all of those things. Um, you're gonna get a couple of bonus materials too, as far as um, you know, a whole food eating and grocery shopping tips. Um, I can talk about hormone balance guide. What else do I have in there? Um, a workout program and a meal plan. Again, I get a whole calendar meal plan that's already set for you so you can follow. And as long as you're following each module one by one, step by step, it's a step by step progression. So you're really, we're really going to start out foundationally and start out with your mindset and the heart of what you're doing and, and the feelings and emotions that are going on um, with food and what's kept you stuck in the past. And then once we really get that foundation solid, um, then we're going to move into more of the physical aspects of the nutrition and um, how to actually do it, how to live this out, this life, this wellness lifestyle out. Um, so after we do all, we're going to do all that stuff. And this, this program itself too, it's, it's self-paced. So there's no rush to keep up with anybody. You do it at your own pace. It's like I said, it's 10 modules and it take, can take you anywhere from like three to four months to complete, maybe longer, depending on how much you really want to dig in and dive into the um, foundational pieces as far as the emotional and heart aspects and belief aspects of it. So um, if that's something that you feel you've been missing from any diet program that you've done in the past, and you want to do something different, you've been looking for something different because you've done it all already, 
and it hasn't worked for you, maybe it did at the beginning, but it's not working for you anymore. I'm here for you. I'm here and I have created this program. It's called the Well Within Lifestyle Academy for you, with me, with a community of other people to help you get past any bumps in the road, um, any confusion that you might have to help you break through into sustained weight loss for life and to feel well, to feel good. And um, not just for now, but forever and to really get what you want out of this. So um, this program, I'm actually going to be starting a group with this program on Tuesday, May 5th, Cinco de Mayo, <laughs> which is kind of fun. Um, Tuesday, May 5th, we're going to start a group. And I know with my clients in the past, and I just, just being in this industry for at least 30 years, I've been in the fitness and nutrition industry for a long time. I used to teach fitness classes actually um, at different gyms. And I also worked in corporate fitness, um, doing wellness programming for employees and corporations. And being in this industry for so long, I know how much money we spend on programs. And I just, I actually tested this group, this program, um, this Well Within Lifestyle Academy program with a group of women um, last fall. And when I interviewed each of them, um, I know that all that they each spent thousands of dollars over the years of dieting in the past. Um, and some of it even started dieting in um, their childhood. They're, you know, their maybe their parents put them on a diet because um, they thought they were overweight or needed to manage their weight. So they've been dieting since, you know, maybe young teens or even their childhood and have spent thousands of dollars in fitness programs, nutrition programs, diet programs, what have you, and still haven't gotten a result, which is so frustrating to me because why would it be, I guess I could understand, you know, people do spend a lot of money when they want to stop the pain. And I'm here to tell you that there is another way I have developed and created another way, um, a way that actually is sustainable and can help you to break through into real weight loss. Um, no more messing around and no more wasting money on things that don't work, but I've created something that actually does and address the whole person, not just the physical aspect, but the whole person for sustained weight loss and longevity. So, um, yeah, so thousands of dollars, we spent thousands of dollars on programs and things, but I have created this program for you. It's a self uh, paced program. It's all online and you get me in the community and all these amazing bonuses. Um, and I've actually priced this program at $1,200, um, which is actually normal pricing for online programs. Um, and actually I was, then I was going to take it down to 997 to help you, um, during the coronavirus time. I know some people are unemployed right now, um, but it's actually a great time to focus on you and self care because we do have a little bit more time than, than we <laughs> normally do. Um, but this is your opportunity to use this time to grow and develop yourself into self care and do self care and with me as your coach and in a private accountability group. So, um, what, what I decided since this program is new and I really know how important it is for you to find your solution to weight loss. I've decided to drop the price way down <laughs> to just $297. Um, and even if the 297 seems big, um, I have broken it down into payment options for you of um, four payments. And I can't quote the price right now because I need to look at my um, my sheet for pricing, but you can break that 297 down into four payments, four monthly payments. Um, if you really feel like you need this right now, but you can't really afford it, but payments do seem like an option to you. But if you pay up front at the 297, you will get extra bonuses and um, can benefit from that. So I just want to invite you today that if you feel like you are done with dieting, you need real weight loss breakthrough that you can do and is sustainable for life, then the Well Within Lifestyle Academy program is for you. So join me today and I will um, put a link to the registration and more details about the program in the comment section when this video is over. And let me know if you have any questions too, if there's more that you want to know, if, if you want to know if this program is the right fit for you, I'm 
happy to answer your questions. I want to know if it's a right fit for you. And I want to know um, that I'm the right fit for you, that you're the right fit for me and I'm the right fit for you so that you can get the results that you need and really uh, want to stop this um, madness <laughs> with diet and weight loss. So um, register today. The registration closes on Tuesday, April 28th. And the program itself becomes uh, begins on Tuesday, May 5th. So this is for you. I want to invite you personally um, as your dietitian and fitness expert to join me in our group that begins Tuesday, May 5th. And let me know if you have any questions. Um, take a look at the um, info sheet that I'm going to provide in the link below. And then from that sheet, you can also register today. And the price will be going up um, after this group. So if you want to join, this is the time to join. You have the time to do it. The price is way low, only $297. It will go up to $997 to $1,200 after this um, group that's starting on May 5th. So if you know of anybody who wants to join you, bring them along. The more the merrier. We can help each other. And if um, this is for you, I'm here to answer your questions. You can um, send me a private message on Messenger and Facebook and let me know how I can help you. So thank you so much for allowing me to share my heart with you today. And I hope to see you in the program. Let me know if you have any questions. Talk to you soon. Thanks.